Well, well, hello there. It's Polsky. Today, I'm gonna teach you basic things about NTW3 9.1 version, I believe it is right now. Well, this is a video inspired by Spudler's introductionary video for all the new players. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go over the first thing. The first thing would probably be the recommended things. The recommended things is the is the video card that you that you cannot really change, otherwise you're gonna be unstable. The things in game can change according to your PC and uh, well, uh, there are some things that are, can be affected by PC, but mostly. It, it doesn't matter, the game's engine is bad, it's horribly outdated. Yeah, you may have a great gaming PC nowadays, but th this game doesn't matter. You, it can't even, it doesn't even use like 4 gigas of your GPU. It, it doesn't, it's stuck on 2 because so Sega decided to limit the hardware, which is one of the major things that's gonna kill this game, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that's the basic thing. Is there any basic thing either that you should know? Uh, basic things uh, we're gonna go over soon. Ah, uh, but for now, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna just show you the quick things. Uh, as you can see, uh, these are the. That's how you just join the video games. This, this this should show up like normally. Uh, if you did everything right, uh, let's just do a test map for this because. Yeah. As this is going to be a unit show off and uh, <coughs> uh, point explanation stuff. Alright, so uh, as you can see, I'm a four star because I'm epic. Uh, yeah, so nowadays, back in the Spiders video, you only have custom armies here and you like some Peninsula War course in Italy. Uh, so, yeah, let's begin with Fears of War. What are they? They're, they're a new addition since 9.0. From my, what I remember, there was a huge quality of discussion about them. They used to be controversial, I remember, because uh, it was just basically a rolling a dice from which arm you could get. Alright, so let's just click on Prussia here, 10 point poison. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we rolled 4 generals, we, ro we got 4 cores, those are completely random. Can be like multiple of them. So we got Kaldach, Eugen Wurttemberg, Zeschwitz, and Hohenlohe. Yeah, as you can look here, yeah, these are the guys from here, from the fourth coalition. That's how it works. So that's the basic explanation thingy. Custom armies are as they used to be. It's only one, it's a couple general possibilities. Oh, hey, look, it's Bernard with two stars. But yeah, it's just what you remember from 9.0, uh, 8.9, and normal before. Although there's only like a couple of them left, especially for French team. And yes, as you can first see, if you remember, where I thought the France was in the team alliance one. Well, that was true, but it isn't anymore. Questions why? Musker bug, because Coalition had a horrible musker bug while it was relying mostly on great shooting stats which basically made it unplayable because the focus would just outshoot them which was infuriating for everyone involved so yeah so uh, french are, are now in 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 alliance 2 anything like this we get to say napoleon menor and chabot yep so this is the guys these guys are just stuck here you can only four of the max Unless there is not enough cores, which is weird, because there should be a four, because Suche exists. Yeah, Suche exists, which is weird. Uh, but yeah, uh, most nations survived. Few didn't. Rest in peace, Alba. Alright, so let's be go with the most important part. Do you see these numbers? Yeah, these ones here, right next to the year, and afterwards the name, for the name, there's a 
just a number and a dot after it. Now you may think, what does it mean? It's it's the power. It's basically the power of the core, the power of the army. Yeah, like looking here, this Ferge, Sweden, Finska, Sweden, Finland. It's seven pointer because it is another great. Just looking at generally, it isn't that great. Oh, they got the good gold here. Uh, but yeah. I mean, if you compare it to like sounding really strong, like, okay, Espana and Portugal included, uh, we got Wellington. Yeah, just look at those units. Yeah, they're much, they're just generally cheaper and better. Also, you can have this, which is just, uh, Pretty, pretty fun, pretty fun thing to play with. I, I recommend it. Uh, but yeah, that's what Feeders of War are for, here for. They're here for just to exist. And uh, I, I kind of screwed it by being one of my demi fixes. Alright, so. Uh, oh, I did this too small, am I? God damn it. Alright, so. Uh, how do you use these things? These points? That's a that's another question. Well, the answer is really simple. Basic math. Now, I will not lie, I'm horrible at math and I shouldn't tell you how to do math. Because I'm a total in depth. But let's just say this game is 38. And by the way, I don't know the, the rules in this. The rules in this are that you can get anything pretty much. Shut up. So yeah, you just have. Uh, yeah, risking a rod. Although no one plays it now, I'm pretty sure. Yup, and now that's 36 for coalition. Oh dear, oh, dear. we got we got someone burning down the White House here. Oh yeah, that, these are also new things that they know just. These are cores, which is interesting. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you look at this, that's 12-pointer, now we get an 8, to make it valid, so that's 20, 30, and now we need a 6-pointer, which would be, now, pull the end. Yup, it's all working now, you see, it's, it's technically balanced, although balanced to the game is a personal thingy. I like these guys, though. Uh, but yeah, returning back to the basic things, this is how the new system works. That's how it always worked. It just the, with the features of work kind of changed it. And uh, yeah, now let's talk about these things. Yeah, th these things that take most of your screen. Yeah, those are the put it in air quotes less played things. Yeah. I think I will not lie, even though lately you're not playing anything. I will not lie that Feeders of War are most common way of playing just because of their versatility and uh, me potential. It's just a fun. Like, look at this. Look at this. Like, why would you get it? This is stupid. The cost for everything is stupid, although it's a six pointer, so it's a not, not a surprise, but. If you compare it to something like this guy, just because it's a core, yeah, the, the, this stuff just seems much more appealing. Oh yeah, I didn't also know, didn't know these guys got sw uh, the Swiss. That's kind of nice surprise. And the Swiss are really good. Yeah, like actually really good. Oh yeah, another thing it was supposed. To, uh, I almost forgot to tell you. So since we're now talking about cores. We're gonna talk about the new mechanic they had. Now, do you remember how you had money here? It was like 10,000 this from the beginning. And it just slowly started going down and down and down as you got more units. Now it works differently. Now it started building up from 0 to 10,000, 11,000 or 12,000. I don't remember how much every single point it gets, gets for that, but... It's a new system. Now... Uh... Do I get price reduction for this? No, uh, these are, the, the, the units are brigaded, so... So, if I just do this... Uh, yep. 
Uh, you're gonna see a magical thing happen in a moment when I get all of the line. Yup, you see this? It went down. Uh, yeah, it went down. That, that's the new update. If you get the entire line, beware, this has to be a core. It doesn't work in Fears of War or Customs. It only works in this. Yep, it only works in this, sadly. Although it's a you it can be absolutely used to make some horrifyingly huge armies like uh, which one was that? Uh, the idea is just that you have like yeah it is. You wanna need like a bunch of uh, units like this because then you can just do it much more cheaper rather than just. Uh, I see this? Yeah, this is absolutely ridiculous. This should have never happened. You can absolutely do it though. And no one can stop you, and that's the great part. Yeah, I don't remember if there are. Yeah, because most of coalition ones are just really thick. I think the French ones are much more better with just showing this, generally, I'm pretty sure. Uh. Now Marmot is definitely not an example for this because his line just goes completely into... Yeah, is it even possible to get a price reduction with this guy? That's the question. Uh, it, appear, it appears so, but then you just get the entire Belgian line. Which is respectable. Uh, yeah, there's some... Yeah, like this. You could technically do it. I don't know why would you. I just got a light company. The what about it? <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's the new feature they added. Feeders of War. Why is Ireland a feeder of war? I have no idea. And Ireland used to be a four pointer. Now it's a five pointer. They are basically, according to Lords, uh, using the old stat, they are just as strong as Hanover was. Or Septils is. Which is. Yeah, honestly, that, 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 that kind of weird that Hanover was there, considering the, uh, who gets all the, yeah, these guys, look at this. Look at these units, they, they are definitely not bad for the price, but the cavalry is. Oh, wait, where's the Cumberland? Because I was, I thought they got him. The funny Cumberland, oh, nah, this guy, uh, yeah, the hill gets all the, ca uh, the, and over and I think uh, uh, yeah Axbridge gets the yeah this is a uh, the, the only reason you'd get them is now because C8 uh, and these guys are too morale because uh, they refuse to charge yes yeah, very unfortunate uh, but yeah that's pretty sh something basic Pretty sure. Uh, and the other thing would be a fog of war, uh, but we would need to be in the game for that for a moment. Is there anything I can tell you guys about in the lobby? I can't really tell me though. <laughs> oh yeah, basic setups. Alright, so uh, if we are doing like a hundred days. Alright, so do you see this? In the different points. Alright, if you're doing a core battle, like you're doing a certain core, you cannot, if you're in the same team, you cannot mix it with any other cores. That is prohibited because the cores are sim balanced to 1v1 the same core from the opposite side. If that doesn't make sense, like that. The Peninsula War 1811 is uh, for the Coalition is supposed to be fighting only Peninsula War. 1811 for France but well honestly lately they changed it a bit which is uh, you can take a if you have a full Peninsula War 1811 stack like shown here like I mean right now I have 100 day stack so uh, French we could you could do a 18 to 15 scenario or we could all just uh, oh uh, that's interesting <laughs> Uh, you could just do a all 
Yeah, I know this one is very important, but I'm just clicking buttons now just to show you. Yeah, you could just do this. This would be legal. This is completely legal. Or they could just go to theaters of war, which are... Yeah, they just exist. Uh, and theaters of war can repeat certain course... So the, uh, yeah, I come, I'm, you see I'm, I'm here Augsbridge, so it means like the, the guy playing here cannot go Augsbridge, because that, that's prohibited. Because that's just, just no, no uh, illegal band. Uh, is there anything I could tell you? Of course there are some experts in the current system. I will not tell you them, because the Lord should be fixing them right now. Although I think it may be never get fixed because it's a... It's kind of on your own thingy that you can do without them really kind of being able to change it. I'm not gonna go into it. Uh, but... Yeah. Alright, so... So, so uh, you may remember I told you about the feeders of our and you were like... Alright, so we're back. Uh, we had some difficulties. The game died. Alright, uh, so we're saying... I had key. So, uh, if we go here, like, let's go to, which one is the one that fits kind of to, yeah, Flanders. Oh, you go, like, Barpolsky. I wanted to have guard. What? I wanted to have Kellerman. I wanted to have Pajol. Where are they? Well, that's a simple answer. You didn't roll them. Now, you can roll them, that is absolutely true, you can just, you know, roll them whatever you want. Uh, hmm, how to say it? Uh, like, look at this, you get, ra yeah, you see this, this is the 1815 thingy. You get random full course out of this. So, how this works? You wonder, so I... So, I wanted to have Kellerman, but I didn't, so, what do I do? Well, my answer is, better luck ne next time, I guess. This was done because the Lords wanted to promote versality, and the, the fact that you can just bring the same army all over and all over again, which is unfortunate, but there are ways, of course, to just go around it, just play customs. Customs aren't that bad, they still work. Uh, so yeah, coming back, you just have to wait. These things, yeah, the, these guys, they refresh every hour. Yeah, I know that's horrible. Honestly, saying the length you're gonna spending in a lot, it's not gonna feel that bad. It shouldn't. Oh yeah, so. When I'm here, I'm gonna demonstrate how the money works. That's something small, like I can actually bring money. No, everything's so big. Damn it. Ah. Do you remember what I said about the thingy about money reduction? Yeah, it doesn't work here. It do doesn't work at all. So this whole line they didn't get anything. Now that's a sad. I know. Uh, but well, honestly, was done for that. They do, the engine is already doing so much for calculations, it, they don't want it to just do too much. Uh, so anything we talked about, how do the cores work, recommended settings, the army customs, so everything that matters. Ah yes, now the unit types, and how they work. So we should pick up very versatile thingy to explain it. I wanted to pick 815, but didn't get a good rules to explain it. You better just do. Yeah, 12 point of France. Ah. Well, we got some interesting rules, but didn't get a guy I wanted just to show off the thingy. Alright, so just get Nakupan here. What the Lefebvre doing? Alright, so. You might just join the game and like, but but Polsky. Okay, okay, okay. Just wanna appreciate this man, this man's whole existence. 
a 2k goal that's nice uh, but yeah uh, all right so look at the, i look at this dragoons the impetus and i wonder what does the c6 mean in it and the answer is it's speed now c6 is like a above average c5 is the, is the lowest uh, like Fille do turns you gold like that's a really important that's a really powerful agent it would be really good now it's good nerf just because the heavy cap got reworked he still hits like a track though uh, but yeah it's expensive does the work does the work it's c4 which means it runs at a c4 and uh, the way it works is it's like a tornado story C6 is like two thirds faster than C5, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. It works like a tornado scale, like it's, I don't think it's twice as fast because that would be, do make sense. Maybe it would be too fast, but yeah, that's how, that's how it works. Alright, so we look here. L is for normal infantry. Yeah, I know it's just light infantry, but that's the scale normal, normal infantry uses. And G is for Grenadiers, as you see up here, we got Grognards and second Grenadier Apid. Yeah. Now these dragons are classified of the G. Uh, now this is the thing, this is an interesting thing. How uh, do you look at this? Yeah, it's basically the same as the previous unit. You look. I mean, it's kind of better, more expensive and stuff. It's kind of cheap actually. Pretty good for the money from now on. Uh, but yeah, it got a G speed. What does it mean? It means I'm pretty sure uh, uh, the units with the grenadier speed as infantry, they used to not get the grenadier buff, but now I'm pretty sure now they do, which is something rare that you see infantry with uh, grenadier speed. One of the main units that had it was the 84 I remember uh, did we get it? it's the 1812 one that's for sure uh, get the option uh, what am I doing? Uh, I keep hitting the hook for right uh, now that's 24 yeah but just, you have to take my word for it otherwise it will just take way too long uh, but we're coming back. Coming back to here. <coughs> yeah, as you can see, yeah, some of these units are L5. Yeah, like this boy. These are L6, which means they're really fast. They just basically run on the road. Another thing, keep to the roads. Re roads make you really fast. And uh, other things, artillery speed, which is used by F for the foot artillery. It, it's just. I'm pretty sure it's just abbreviation of a foot in the name, I guess. Atelier Rapide. Uh, yeah, so this is F4, pretty fast. F4 is somewhat like L4. L4, L3, basically that. Yeah, look at this. this these guys are L3. They're cheap. The speed actually costs you this extra money, which is the thing to remember. Uh, oh, this is going to... All right, so uh, so Salier has always uh, a light calf. Yeah, look at the Miracles devolving C7 really fast. It's a light calf for scouting. And these guys have better line of sight than dragoons or a heavy calf. That's very important to remember. Heavy calf, really expensive. Just shits on everything. Although there are some which don't, and they get tired really fast. It's just you have to worry about them. Now with a new figure that came in this up 9.0 is the buff of skirmishers. Skirmishers are more important just because uh, just they perform better than they used to. Than they used to in 9.9. This video is gonna be how long, but I don't care. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, also horse artillery. Yeah, you see this is H2, which is standard speed. Uh, this is H3, which is 
really fast. And I know there's a really funny one for this guy. Yep. Really cheap HP 6 pounder. D it doesn't do that much damage, but actually can turn a tide by a battle from my experience. Alright, so is there anything we wanted else to talk for? Uh, we got a really good place here, I guess. Uh, so, uh, this is a general just to tell you I'm not gonna go to battle, explain LC and that stuff because it's not for my mind today. Alright, so certain factions have certain abilities. Like, if you look at Egypt here, you see the mass. They are one of the biggest French armies, which is something I don't understand, but they, they have big, really good units. Like, look at this thing, man. Yeah, the units are pretty big, and they can also get these guys, the Sylvium Araba, which is basically just 300 men meat shield unit. Uh, and no, we do not say that uh, French used Arabs as meat shield. They might have. I, I don't have a record for it. Alright, so... Uh, oh yeah, C9. Just wanted to tell you guys about C9 speed. It's horrible fast. They're maneuverable as heck. They will definitely kill. Uh, oh yeah, DR. DR stands from for Dromedary. Which is a. Uh, do you have? A, do you know what a dromedary is? It's a camel. Yeah, these are camel riders. They used to scare, but they, they don't. Which is sad. Very sad. Another thing which is important for army composition is this guy. N not exactly this guy, but combat generals. There are some combat generals which are just ridiculous and give you a stupid price reduction. Uh, huh? What? It's crazy. Oh, yeah, it's you no know, 90k here. It's just. Uh, yeah, this is just enough to just break into entire army. Sadly. Uh, accurate and uh, oh yeah, the British are overpowered currently in the meta. I would no, I wouldn't say overpowered, but really strong to just sh annihilate anything that stands in front of them. Pretty British propaganda, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> which is a guy which I, which will most likely just prove you to that point. Well. If we had him, I would bring Nicholas Gai here and just explain him, just looking at this man, how strong he makes. Alright, so uh, this is the same unit. Uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is the same unit, alright? I'm just not saying bullshit now. Uh, yeah, but this guy... Uh, yep, you see this? Yeah, he's very expensive for a combat general. Yeah, but you see what he does to the reloading skill? Now it's 90. Yes, for every single star you get a... I think 10, 10 reload. If the guy doesn't even have a star, then that's still re 10 reload skill. And... Uh, as it doesn't say inspire, but... Uh... Weird, they should say inspire, but that might be the part of the combat germ nerf, nerf that might have happened, and yeah, they're expensive quite a bit now. Uh, oh yeah, one of the funniest things, uh, oh yeah, this is the one, this is the one. Uh, oh, okay, I think they removed it. Uh, yeah, 
about you see now we got a trashman Mira yeah and Gushi yeah so this is pretty much just everything you wanted to know uh, oh yeah and if you go here yeah automas are here and here that's why because they're neutral put in the I mean they, they fought both sides technically during this time so the makers didn't really know where to put them which is understandable but oh yeah and this this is funny this, this more sort of funny if you just put them in a American one but uh, but yeah four searches are really good Mid oh yeah gun cab what I should just talk about too. Uh, so, usually, remember in vanilla how your French, some of your French light cab were chasseurs on mounted chasseurs and they would just shoot? Yeah, they do that. Oh, yeah, also some units are using bows. And you may ask, why? And that's a really good question. Uh, because apparently bow is pretty good. Yeah, we should not have l g gone away from the bow because it's really good. Just annihilates units. Yep. So. Uh what do you mean, your heroes are pretty good? Uh, but yeah. Ah, yeah, some units give inspire bonus, which just gives more alpha units around them. It's basically pretty good if you wanna keep like militia in your front line, like Napoli. Yeah, zero morale. Yeah, you wanna keep that from routing. Oh yeah, and these guys, uh, they inspire now, okay, good, good, good. These guys don't, though, yeah, they don't. Yup. Oh, yeah, look, it's Mira. Thank God I got a new drip build. Uh, so yeah, this is just pretty much everything. They did it in a horrible fashion. Made it too long. Uh, so yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this, and... Uh, I didn't t lie anything about to you. I told you whatever I honestly feel like was true. Uh, editing this is gonna be hell because I don't know how to edit. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see.